to video three for this unit on rational number arithmetic. In this video, we're going to focus on multiplying and dividing rational numbers. We can use sign numbers to represent the position of an object along a line. We pick a point to be the reference point and call it zero. Positions to the right of zero are positive. Positions to the left of zero are negative. With this setup, we can use sign numbers to describe which direction something is moving. When we combine speed with direction, indicated by the sign of the number, it is called velocity. For example, if you're moving 5 meters per second to the right, then your velocity is positive 5 meters per second. However, if you're moving 5 meters per second to the left, then your velocity is negative 5 meters per second. If you start at 0 and move 5 meters per second for 3 seconds, you will be 15 meters to the right of 0. In other words, 5 times 3 equals 15. In general, a positive times a positive equals a positive. On the other hand, if you start at 0 and move negative 5 meters per second for 3 seconds, you will be 15 meters to the left of 0. In other words, negative 5 times 3 equals negative 15. In general, a negative times a positive equals a negative. We can also use sign numbers to represent time relative to a chosen point in time. We can think of this as starting a stopwatch. The positive times are after the watch starts. And the negative times are before the watch starts. Suppose you are moving in a positive direction, and you cross position zero right as the timer starts. For times after this reference time, you will have a positive position. But for times that were before the reference time, you must have had a negative position. For example, with a velocity of 5 meters per second, then 3 seconds before the timer started, you were at position negative 15. In other words, 5 times negative 3 equals negative 15. This shows that a positive times a negative equals a negative. On the other hand, suppose you are moving in a negative direction you still cross position zero right as the timer starts. For times after this reference time, you will have a negative position. But for times that were before the reference time, you must have had a positive position. For example, with a velocity of negative 5 meters per second, then 3 seconds before the timer started, you were at the position positive 15. In other words, negative 5 times negative 3 equals positive 15. This shows that a negative times a negative equals a positive. Next, let's look at dividing rational numbers. Division is the operation that undoes multiplication. For example, the reason why 6 divided by 2 equals 3 is because 2 times 3 equals 6. We can use what we've learned about multiplying signed numbers to figure out how to divide them. 
a positive divided by a positive is always positive. What is six divided by negative two? Because negative two times negative three equals positive six, we know that six divided by negative two must equal negative three. A positive divided by a negative is always negative. What is negative six divided by two? Because two times negative three equals negative six, we know that negative six divided by two must equal negative three. A negative divided by a positive is always negative. So then, what is negative six divided by negative two? Because negative two times positive three equals negative six, we know that negative six divided by negative two must equal positive three. A negative divided by a negative is always positive. This is similar to the pattern we saw with multiplying rational numbers. Thank you for watching video three of four for this unit on rational number arithmetic.